Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a quick look at how you might undertake technical analysis using Bloomberg Terminal. Now, before starting, it's probably worth saying a few words on technical analysis. There is no general acceptance in the literature that finding patterns in prices and extracting meaning from them is actually an effective way to base a trading strategy or an effective way to try and anticipate the future direction of the market. Now, there are some very well-respected papers from Farmer, Schiller and Hansen, which go a long way to disproving the effect of technical analysis. There's a slightly earlier paper by Roberts, which compares randomly generated patterns to patterns in previous stock prices and shows that they are indistinct from each other. This is a much simpler paper than those by Farmer Schiller and Hansen, so maybe this is a paper that you wish to read and perhaps cite if you are getting interested in technical analysis, just so you can see the other side of the coin. That said, Behavioural economics does tell us that human traders follow heuristic patterns and evidence from industry does suggest that some technical analysis tools can earn supernormal profit. So the literature is very much disconcordant with reality in some aspects of this. Therefore, I am willing to make the video and let you make your own choice. Let me pick a company and we'll have a look at their share prices. Now, one of the companies I love to case studies is BAE Systems. Since I'm the one with the keyboard, let's pick that. Once I've got the security loaded, I'm looking for the price chart, GP or line chart. So let's open that up. Now, there's, I've got a few options. I think we'll start with some examples of technical tools. I'll just do a couple of the simpler ones just to show you how to do them. Then I think we'll start with the, the shorter term, then go. To, we'll try a longer term technique. Um, let me just put the periodicity down to, let us say, a month. And let's start with moving averages, as this is something you've possibly seen before. A moving average just smooths out the price series and gives you a step ahead prediction as to whether the price is going to tend up or tend down. Uh, there is a button here for moving averages. My preference, though, in order to get something a little bit neater, is go into the add data field. You can add data here, but you can also add studies. Now, I can type in moving average. I happen to remember that correct mnemonic is SMA. So let's just pop that on. It should put a single green line on. At this point, I probably just want to zoom in a bit. If you hold the control key on the keyboard and just roll the mouse wheel, that's what's zooming me in at the moment. So I know you can't see my hands. So at the moment, we're pretty much on the line. It looks like my prediction would be that the simple moving average is going to get on top of price. Um, I'm recording this video on a Saturday, by the way, so this isn't trading and I'm trying to predict Oh, well, it's a bank holiday Monday, so I'm, um, I'm, on, I'm here on Saturday and trying to predict next Tuesday. So you can imagine I'm probably not going to do very well at that because most information trades into price when the market is closed, not open. Barclay and Hendershot 2003, if you want the site for that. So my prediction would be that the moving average is going to move higher and eventually the price is going to dip up so i'm predicting down then up based on this of course it's all a little bit subjective well one thing i could also look at if i'm trying to predict whether we go down stable or up in the next few moments is to look at candlesticks rather than just the price line uh, the option for candlesticks is via the button here if you actually hit the 
drop down, you get a couple of options. Now, in Bloomberg, you can get the Japanese sticks. The only difference is the they are usually shown in red and green. Bloomberg shows them in blue and white, and it drives me mad personally. But we can. get them and I always find it very confusing as to which is which but if you hover over them you can work out what the color coding actually means so blue in this case is showing a downward moving candle it's a bear candle the hollow ones are bull or upward moving candles so the last candle was a downward moving candle with a downward moving wick so at the moment the market closed there was more downward pressure more traders were testing for lower prices second to last candle showed that it's a little bit pointless to analyze candles on a market which is closed but if you can analyze them in real time and if you were trading in real time they can actually be very they could possibly be very helpful some of the literature, not a lot, but some, and my own PhD is actually part of the sum, suggests that technical analysis may work more so in shorter time periods than longer time periods. The, the jury's not really out on that yet. So that's two of the short, more short-term techniques you can use very easily. And a lot of the trading platforms that you might see advertised on YouTube have these techniques built in. There are, however, a good many techniques which are available. Let me just get rid of the candles just to make it a little bit nicer. And I think I should probably take that moving average off. And that should make the diagram a little neater. Ah, that's got it off. Good, good, good. I just want to show one more technique to demonstrate the ideas of support and resistance levels. Um, the technique is known as Elliott waves. It, it, Elliott waves derive from something much older called Dow theory, but Dow theory applied to stock market prices seems to now be called Elliott waves. Now, the mnemonic to get one of these is called E-Wave. And it takes a little while to fit this. Now, this is perhaps not a very brilliant example. So let me just open another tab and we're going to pick another company, which hopefully gives us something a little bit more interesting to look at. I'd... That's better. The, the issue with the BAE systems is you just have one very long upward movement. It's perhaps a little bit better to have something that moves up and down a bit. Make sure. Oh, doggy, there we go. The, the Elliott wave is the red line. Hopefully you can see I'm flashing over the turning points. The long movements are known as primary movements. This is the direction the market is heading in. This is where the majority seem to go. The shorter runs, so maybe here to here, are known as resistance. This is the market testing for higher prices after the market has been accepting lower prices. So here we have the primary movement, resistance, primary movement again. But here at point number two, where I'm flashing now, we get a new movement which goes higher than the last primary movement. So here the direction has changed. Now the market is accepting increasing prices. And 
here we're at about March, April 2023, so it's a very long time period graph here. And the market seems to now be testing for lower prices. We've got a bit, lot of up and down movement. We've got some sub waves in here. But at the moment, because we haven't breached this level yet, we're still testing for lower prices. The direction hasn't changed. So if we want to place a prediction for the long term future, our prediction is that although prices are on average declining for over a year, in the long run, they will actually climb again. Can I predict the future very accurately with this? My gut feeling is no. But if you are interested in trading and you are interested in learning the full variety of techniques, this is something you might want to look at a little bit more. For those of you who are perhaps doing a Bloomberg trading project, I would advise you put a lot more emphasis on the fundamentals, but by all means do experiment with technical analysis. The great thing about Bloomberg is I can make my own portfolios using fake money and I can learn by my mistakes. So if you're not convinced by the literature and you're not convinced by the practice, convince yourself.